A mystery in the air and now the sea. A central Florida plane dove into the Atlantic just off the coast of Naval Station Mayport this morning. Yeah, that plane with two people aboard departed Kissimmee Gateway Airport at 822 just after 9 o'clock this morning. It was down in the water near the mouth of the St. Johns River, some 900 miles short of its final destination. A search began in the morning and went all day looking for a sign of life or debris from a plane like this. The airplane is believed to be a six-seat Piper Malibu, similar to the one in this photo. It was headed to Princeton, New Jersey, about a thousand-mile journey from Kissimmee. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth described the aircraft for us. It's a pressurized airplane, can fly in between 20 and 30,000 feet, has a 350 horsepower airplane typically cruises at 200 to 230 miles an hour, is equipped with weather radar, so presumably the pilot knew. Booth showed us what we know based on commercial flight tracking services and the Federal Aviation Authority. The plane was in the center of the St. Johns River Channel, about 22,000 feet up, then almost three miles straight down in less than two minutes. Booth suspects the bad weather helped bring down the plane. This aircraft was first marketed in the early 1980s and immediately amassed a rather grim record of breaking up in adverse weather such as this. The FAA teaches pilots mm. uh, to remain 10, 20, 30 miles away from weather like this. The pilot didn't heed those warnings. Booth says between 20 and 30 of these airplanes have broken up in air due to bad weather. Also says that the doomed trip from three miles up down into the Atlantic may have been merciful for the people aboard. In some cases, he says, the G-forces would cause the pilot and passenger to lose consciousness. The NTB, uh, NTSB, that is, is now investigating.